Please welcome Johnny Ace Palmer, right here. Thank you. Jerry, would you be kind enough to come join me at the table for some close-up magic? And Lisa, is Lisa around? Yes, she's over there. Great. Lisa, would you like to come up and want, have a seat right a, over here? Do I need a microphone? I don't think so. No. No. Well, I'm taking it. How the hell do you like that? That's fine. <laughs> I thought I did magic. Oh. Well, this is an unexpected sort of situation. Well, Great. Thanks down? for joining us. Oh, Please sure. sit down. I'll have I a veal remember... cutlet. <laughs> I remember what happened to Rack earlier in the evening, our stage manager in a situation like this, and Are we just ready? be kind. Okay, I will. My name is Johnny Ace Palmer, and my first feat of magic is called the opener. That's a pretty good name for the first trick, isn't it? If you watch, you can see the opener. If you listen, you can hear it. Hear that? That's my opener, see? An opener. But what good is an opener without something to open? See? There it is. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's real. The thimble trick is so fast that the thimble will jump from the first finger to the second finger and you can't see it go. Watch how fast it jumps. First to second. That's pretty fast. It's almost as fast as the ring trick. You know the one. Where I pretend to take the ring off my finger and place it into this hand. Actually, it never left my finger. When I try from one finger, it jumps to my second, so I get smart and try from two. That's when it jumps to my third. Then I try from all my fingers, and that's when I get it, but that's only thumb times. See, thumb times. <laughs> when I'm in church, I let this thimble represent a person, and this hand the devil. The devil tries to get the person, but he can't get him. That's because this person believes in the power of God, and that leaves the devil behind the eight ball. See? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. You're a great group, huh? These are my cups and balls, and I mean it. <laughs> there are three cups. <laughs> three cups and three balls. Each cup is empty, and each ball is solid. Cup A is slightly larger than B and C, therefore cup B can go through cup A, and so can C. C? No, A. This one's C. I'm going to take these three cups and those three balls, and I'll show you a solid through solid penetration. Watch closely as the ball go through the, goes through the cup. See, it went through. Now I'll cover up one ball with two cups, and I'll cause this ball to go through both cups by tapping the cups twice. Not once, but twice. See, it went through again, this time through two cups. Now a visible penetration. That means you'll be able to see the ball go through the cup. Watch closely as this ball goes right through that cup. Right through, just like I said. One ball under each empty cup. Please concentrate on the one ball under the middle. Empty cup. Forget about the end cups and the balls under them. As a matter of fact, I mean as a matter of fact, I'll put this ball in midair right up here. I'll put this ball in midair too. However, I'll put it right there for future reference. That leaves how many balls under this cup? This one. One. Don't forget, I've showed you twice. There's one, but look, now there's one under there. Did you see that? Maybe I'm going too fast. I'll slow down. I'll put this ball in midair right up here. Doesn't that look real? <laughs> last time, last time, thanks. Last time I put one over here and the ball came out under this cup. This time I put one over here, so there should be one under there. And there is. The last ball magically goes right there for future reference. Now how many balls are under this cup? Two. No, three. See? Three balls. One, two, three balls. I wave my hands and all three balls magically disappear. And sometimes people come up to me and say, you know something, Johnny Ace Palmer? They say that because that's my name. They say, you have extremely fast hands. And then they ask, do you do tricks with chicks? As a matter of fact, I do. I'd like you to meet them right now. Here's Fluffy, Puffy, and Duffy. Thank you. Thank you. You're sitting right here. That, this is incredible. <laughs> it's finger flicking oh, magic. No, 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 look at that little Come on, you little nuggets. Time to go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Aren't they cute? Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for my last illusion, an illusion with the magical bunny rabbit. And he's really magical, too. I'll show you why. Watch this. This is neat. Go. Bang. Oh, I shot him. <laughs> you know, usually, magician, are you okay? 
He's okay. Usually magicians pull rabbits out of hats, but I'm different. I pull a hat out of a rabbit. See? I'm a backwards magician. Sometimes the hat disappears and it goes back into the rabbit. Other times it disappears and it goes other places. When it disappears and it's not other places and it's not in the rabbit, some people find that amazing. I find it right here. Then a magic silver streamer comes out of the hat. I hope you like this. It took me an hour and a half to get ready. <laughs> Thank you. Johnny H. Palmer. Whoa. Thank you very much. Not bad. Terrific. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Wonderful. That was great. Enjoyed it.